golden doodle dog, a breed of man's best friend that has evolved to be so cute and fluffy. It is almost impossible to see it as a threat. These dogs are very playful and have a lot of energy. They are a lot like the golden retriever. They have been trained to be submissive, so it knows better than to look at another animal directly in the eye. It is quickly to roll over and shows its belly, the universal sign of submission in the canine world. The golden doodle is also physically non-threatening. While other dogs have strong jaws and sharp teeth for killing prey, this breed has soft, almost toothless maws for eating table scrap. Its coat of fur is so luxurious and well-groomed, we can't help but pet it, thus encouraging more of its kind to exist in the world. Hello folks and welcome back to Smart Dog Lover. Keep watching so you discover the top 12 things only Golden Doodle dog owners know about their dogs. Don't forget to hit like if you haven't already. Also subscribe and turn on notifications for more contents like this that will help you know your dog better. Let's go! Number 12. The Extra Fur These dogs are known for their great personality, but did you know that they have extra fur? This is because these dogs have a double undercoat which gives them the extra fluff you see. In addition to being extra fluffy, golden doodles also shed less than golden retrievers because they inherit poodle hair instead of golden retriever hair, but they do still shed a little bit. So if you're looking for a non-shedding dog, try looking into the Labrador doodle instead. Number 11. Best Champion Dogs Golden Doodles are very social and playful animals with a tendency to bond very strongly with their human family members. As puppies, they can be quite hyperactive at times, but as they mature, they become more intelligent, gentle, and obedient dogs. Golden Doodles are generally good with children, but due to their size, they may be too large or boisterous for smaller children. If you have a toddler or small children in your home, it's best to supervise them when playing with your dog to make sure that no one gets hurt. Golden Doodles are generally good with other dogs and pets as well. They love being around the other dogs and people. So if you have a large family or live in an area where you can take your dog on a long walk or hike, you'll find that he will enjoy the company of other dogs as much as he enjoys being with his human family members. Number 10. The Stealth The Golden Doodle dogs are very secretive and prefer to be left alone. They often hide in the bushes and watch their prey from afar. They are also very quick and will ambush their preys without warning. They can also climb trees if necessary. Maybe it's because of their body anatomy or because they are naturally lighter in weight than most breeds. Number 9. The Eyes a golden doodle's eyes are set rather far apart, giving it a wide eye expression. They also tend to be large and round in shape with a black iris. Dogs with almond-shaped eyes are more likely to be aggressive than dogs with rounder eyes. Note, this is not always true. Dogs with deep-set eyes are more often shy or nervous. Small eyes on a dog or any breed are often indicative of juvenile behavior. While large eyes may make a dog seem more huggable, the shape and size of the ears are very depending upon its ancestry, but they tend to be long and floppy. Number 8. The Lazy Side They are lazy dogs. They love to lay around in the sun and nap. Don't get me wrong. Golden Doodles like chasing squirrels and they love running around outside. They also love playing ball and hanging with their people. However, when they have had enough, they will find a nice warm spot to lay down and watch the world pass them by for a while. These dogs can get very lazy and will sleep more than other dogs. It is important that you take this into account when adopting as they require daily exercise. If not exercised enough, golden doodles will show signs of boredom and misbehavior. Number 7. They love the couch. 
This breed is also well known for their love for sleeping on the couch. As puppies, they will quickly make a habit of sleeping on the couch if allowed. While many owners love the cuddliness of this behavior, it is not necessarily a good thing. A dog that sleeps on the couch may grow up to be very spoiled and difficult to train. As soon as your golden doodle puppy comes home, you should start training it to stay off the furniture. It may take a while for your dog to get used to these rules, but it will be easier in the long run than having to break a dog's bad habits later on. It also helps to keep your puppy busy with fun activities and games so that it does not want to sleep all day long. If your puppy is tired out from playing, it will be less likely to climb onto the couch. Number six, they are hypoallergenic. Golden Doodle Dogs is a hypoallergenic breed. They have a moderate activity level and are highly intelligent, trainable, and loyal. They shed minimally and are recommended for allergy sufferers. Number five, they get along with other pets. Golden Doodle Dogs are friendly with cats. They are friendly with all small pets and animals. They will become friends with them very quickly if they live together since puppyhood. Golden Doodles are not aggressive at all. It may be possible to see aggression in Golden Doodles if they are mistreated or abused, but it is not a common characteristic. It is important to know that all dog breeds can be prone to aggression if they are mistreated or abused. There is no particular reason why Golden Doodles cannot get along with cats and other small pets, as long as they have been properly socialized from the time they were born. Number four, they are useful. The Golden Doodle is an excellent family pet, providing it receives proper socialization. The breed is intelligent, relaxed, friendly, and affectionate. The breed is often used as therapy dogs as well as guide dogs for the blind and visually impaired. They make great pets for families with young children and other animals within the home. They are extremely loving and loyal to their owners, whether it's just one person or a whole family. Number three, training is always easy. Training a golden doodle puppy is not difficult. They may have a few traits that make them harder to train than other breeds, but most of their difficulties can be overcome with patience, positive reinforcement, and training treats. Golden doodles are very smart dogs and they learn quickly. It is important that you start training your new puppy right away so that he will grow up knowing what is expected of him in his home. If he gets bored or frustrated during the training process, it can make him less willing to cooperate. So keep those short training sessions short and sweet until he has learned all the basic commands that you have taught him. Number two, special fur. They have three fur types, the straight, wavy, or curly coat type. The wavy or curly coat type requires regular grooming to maintain their fur and prevent matting and tangling. But don't worry, if you can't commit the daily brushing, there are several excellent dog groomers who specialize in golden doodles. These coat types are determined by the genes of the puppy's parents. Number one, the swimming skill. Golden doodles love to swim. They are perfect dogs for water fun and will enjoy the pool, lakes, and beaches with the family. If you don't like to get wet, this breed will find a way to make you join them. Some of the best memories can be made with your family at the beach or pool with your golden doodle. They are considered a designer breed dog whose parents are poodle and golden retriever. These breeds have been known to be good swimmers. They have a lot of energy that is great for swimming and playing in the water. It's important for golden doodle owners to be aware that some may not enjoy swimming. If you're unsure how your doodle feels about swimming, make sure you're always there to supervise them as they explore. It's also important to start slow and show them how much fun it can be so they don't become fearful or hesitant around water or pools. That's all folks on today's show. If you like this video, why don't you give it a thumbs up and leave a comment telling us your best experience with a golden doodle. Are they the furriest of all dogs? Before we go, do make sure to like and subscribe so that you don't miss out on any dog-related content from us. Goodbye, guys.